What's up guys, it's Seth. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how I completed the Mortis Showdown Challenge. So if you don't know what this challenge is, basically, you take Mortis into Showdown and you can only move by using his attack. So you're not allowed to use your moving joystick to walk around, you can only dash to move around the map and to kill enemies. You can use his super and gadgets and star powers, but you're not allowed to walk around. So this challenge is one of the hardest challenges in Showdown. Other challenges like the Dynamite only jumping challenge and the Daryl only using super challenge. But this challenge is really hard. It probably took me 70 or 80 tries. I don't know the exact number, but it took a long time. So I learned a few things in doing this challenge. And the first thing is the gadgets that you need to use. So I found that using Mortis's second gadget, Survival Shovel, is way better than the first gadget because it gives you extra ammo, which is helpful for getting kills and running away from people in Showdown. So you need all the ammo you can get. The second thing was star powers. To be honest, you really don't need any star powers to do this challenge. Either star power would work fine and Coiled Snake you might think would be helpful, but it really is only helpful in a couple situations and sometimes it can even mess you up. So if you don't have a star power for Mortis and you wanna do this challenge, don't worry about it, you don't really need one. But the gadget is really helpful to have. So I'm gonna show you the game where I actually completed the challenge and I'll give you some tips and kind of break down the gameplay. So as I go into the game, I look for any boxes that are near me and I'll go to take those out first. If there's anybody around you, you don't really want to challenge them for the box because they'll pretty much always beat you. So if there's someone else around you, just run away and try to get away from them so they don't try to attack you. So that's pretty much what you want to do the whole time. Stay away from anybody that's able to kill you on this map, there were a lot of tanks, and so I want to stay away from them. So most of the time, I'll just be sitting in a bush because I just wait for most people to die. And then if anybody walks past my bush with low health, I can dash out and quickly kill them. If someone does come by the bush, what I do is I activate my gadget first and then dash out so I'll have as much ammo as possible to take them down. If it's a tank that has way too much health for you to take out, then I would recommend just dashing through them, hitting them once, and then getting as far away as you can. That way, you'll at least get one hit to start to charge your super, but then you get away from them because tanks will easily take you out. So I found that this bush here in Showdown is a good bush to camp in because it's not too close to the middle because this map has the robot modifier where the giant robot will spawn and if I go in the bush that's next to the water it's a little bit too close to where the robot spawns so a lot of times the robot would target you and once it targets you you're gonna run out of ammo eventually you won't be able to run away from it or take it out so you'll just die so you do not want to let the robot chase you so now there's three brawlers left, me, a Rosa, and a Nanny. The Nanny and the Rosa both have a lot of cubes, so I know I'm not gonna be able to kill either one. And the Nanny actually ended up winning that fight. And I actually thought the Rosa was gonna win, but Nanny won. And now Nanny has 13 cubes, and I know there's no way that I'm gonna be able to kill the Nanny. So when I see her use her super, I'm thinking I'll be able to dodge Peep and hopefully kill Nanny, but she actually teleports and I knew she was gonna kill me, but she actually ran in the smoke. I guess she knew I was doing this challenge or something, so she ran in the smoke and that's how I beat this challenge. So there's probably two ways that you'll be able to beat this challenge. The first way is this way that I beat it, is if someone that's going against you knows you're doing the challenge and goes into the smoke and lets you win, that's the one way you'll win. I've had times where people spin like they're teaming with me and they're not gonna kill me, but then they end up backstabbing me right away and killing me. So that's probably gonna happen a lot if you do this challenge. The second way you could probably beat it 
is if there's three people left and the other two people are fighting, if you can dash in when they're at low health and take them out, then you'll be able to beat the challenge. I almost beat the challenge once this way, but I got a Rico down to a couple hundred health and he killed me, but I was really close to getting it. So if you're gonna be attempting this challenge, you should know that it's gonna take a lot of tries. You might get lucky and get it early on, but it's just about repetition. Keep doing it over and over. You'll get better at it and learn a good strategy for the map you're playing. So I've tried in the past to do the Daryl challenge where you can only move using your super because Daryl super charges up on his own. I've also tried the dynamite challenge where you're only allowed to move using dyna jump. Both of those challenges are really hard. I think the Daryl challenge is probably the hardest because you basically have no movement until your super charges up, which takes like 30 seconds. And a showdown match usually only lasts two or three minutes, maybe not even that long. So you really don't have much mobility with Daryl. So if this video gets a lot of interaction, I might do those challenges. It depends how people like this video, but I might try the dynamite challenge again and maybe the Daryl challenge again. But challenges definitely take a really long time and a lot of patience to complete. But I hope you learned something from this video. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever completed the Mortis challenge. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you go down and click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos and maybe some more challenge videos. But make sure to subscribe and click the like button. And thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.